OK, so in each of these three problems, uh, the particle is in equilibrium. And we need to find the value of the constants a, b, and c. OK, so in this first problem, we can see that the two Newtons working left and right will cancel one another out. And in order for them to be in e this particle to be in equilibrium, then six Newtons must act against six Newtons. And so a would have to be six Newtons. OK, so that's your first one. Number two, the 3b and the 27 must cancel each other out. So 3b must be equal to 27, and so b must be uh, 9. OK, so b is 9 newtons. And then this final one, well, we can see that c must cancel each other out horizontally, so we don't need to worry about those. But these must cancel each other out. And so 3c minus 8 plus 8c plus 2. OK. Now, up here, right, uh, I put 3b is equal to 27. I could easily also have put, well, 3b, if I take to the right, as positive. So if I resolve to the right and I take that as positive... Then I've got 3b working in that direction, 27 working in that direction, and it's in equilibrium, and so it's got to be equal to zero. The acceleration is zero. And so that gives me my equation there. Likewise, here, if I resolve upwards, then I've got the 3c minus 8, the 8c plus 2, but the 61's working against me, it's in equilibrium, so it's got to be equal to zero. This gives me an equation to solve. So I've got 3c plus 8c is 11c. I've got minus 8 plus 2 is minus 6. And then I've got this takeaway 61. OK? So minus 6 takeaway 61 is minus 67. So 11c is 67. And so c is 67 elevenths. Newtons. OK? And so that is how we can deal with these problems. You will want uh, to immediately put one side equal to the other. OK? Just as I did up here. That will be your kind of like go-to thing that you'll want to do initially. If you can hold off doing that and instead think about it as looking at one direction as positive, OK? Traditionally, we either take right as positive and upwards as positive, but that's just how we do our x's and y's. Uh, it really depends upon the uh, context of the problem. It doesn't matter. Uh, you just need to be careful. But if you take that and resolve it in one direction and go, right, anything that is working in the positive direction is positive, anything working in the negative direction is negative, and that's going to be equal to zero because they're in equilibrium, sets up the equation, and this will help us along the way when we have to deal with more complicated problems because it is that structure that we need to work with. If we start putting one equal to the other, then it will make our lives more challenging later on down the line.